Welcome back to the Jeep World of Adventure Sports. Appropriately titled, Unsalted. This is the story of filmmaker Vince Dewar, his affinity for an area that represents one-fifth of the world's fresh water, the Great Lakes, and surfing them. A pastime that has surprisingly taken place since the late 1950s. The California mystique with the surfing, they had it all. And I decided, yeah, maybe we can try that here. Bought a surfboard and it was like all hell broke loose. I had people chasing after my car wondering, hey, are you from California? I said, no, I'm from here. It was always the same pitch, so you can't surf here. I says, oh yes, you can. And we could ride here, we did ride here. And we were like heroes, guys from Buffalo. And you surfers, the music, the Beach Boys, all that mystique, I was rolled right up in it, just like in California, I loved it. Back then, it was if you showed up at, the, at our break with a surfboard in your hand, you were one of us. You weren't a football player, you weren't a basketball player, you weren't anywhere involved with anything that had to do with organized sports, you were a surfer and you were one of us, and everybody understood that we were something special. Surfing had truly taken hold in Buffalo, New York, but some 400 miles west at the same time in my hometown, there was another group of dedicated surfers finding their bliss. One day we decided as we get tired of paddling across the channel and also paddling through the waves, because it's tough getting through the waves when it gets big. So we decided to uh, ride right alongside the South Pier here. Here you are taking off. You're heading right towards a cement wall. I mean, you got to do something or you're going to hit the cement wall or you're going to hit the rocks underneath. You know, most people told us we were crazy. They were saying, what are you doing? You can't surf on the lake. You know, there's obviously waves out there and we're obviously surfing. In fact, most of the time we'd be coming back dripping wet and some guy would say, hey, you can't surf on Lake Michigan. It's like, I mean, look at these waves. It's like a little Malibu. I surf waves in California with 150 people out, angry, mad, not having fun. 10 guys in the water, everybody's having the time of their lives and the waves are super fun. What more can you ask for? Yeah. friends I just met and searched with the last three days are driving home six hours because they got to be at work in the morning. They, I mean, drive six hours to surf today and then drive home. That's a, a deep love that you have to have to do that kind of a commitment. Too many people have lost it or haven't found it yet. And the guys here that surf the lakes have it, without a doubt. Every day here when there's waves is a gift for sure, you know, and the fact that it definitely changes my idea of what surfing means to me as far as the feeling I get. It doesn't really matter if you're surfing the lakes or the ocean, just that feeling. I feel like when fall rolls around and those leaves are moving and the flags are starched and you can smell that crispness in the air, and you know the low pressure's gone and the high's coming in and the waves are going to be up, I feel like I don't have a choice. I was born that way and I have to be in the water. When the waves are at their best in late December and January, the water is at its coldest, requiring a wetsuit that is twice as thick as normal. Like right now, the water's like 33 degrees, and the air is like 13, and the wind chill is like 10 below. 
not right though. I'm pretty uh, psyched for the cold weather thing because growing up in Hawaii, you, you know, you don't get any of that. It's summer all year, all year round. So, so having those seasons and surfing in, you know, this suit of armor was kind of like a, was kind of like a, a new adventure. So that, that part of it to this day doesn't bother me. In fact, I, I kind of like that piece of it. It just adds to the adventure. Woo! Dyke. What's happening? What, what happened out there? Vince and his crew set on through January in pursuit of the epic ride. That day came after 17 hours of driving through the blizzard of 05. It's just dumping outside. It is snowing, it's blowing. It's January 21st. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be. First thought was just like, <laughs> you know, we're not surfing in this, there's no way, it's not possible. You know, water was, I guess 33 degrees, so I uh, can't believe I actually like, went in the water. feet of fresh snow onshore on a beautiful bluebird day. Professional surfers Joe Kern and Braun Huchenstam enjoyed the four to six foot conditions on Lake Superior, just 20 minutes north of Duluth, Minnesota. 